Yeah. Yeah. ready to warm up. Yep, yep. We're here in, uh, we are at Fayetteville. Driveway. Just State Driveway. Fayetteville Driveway, North Carolina. Uh, we're doing an appearance here. We're going to run Bonnie. Uh, first time running out this track. It's a little chilly out, but it's nice. Here at hometown, North Carolina. Nice day. Nice day. Again, people slowly rolling in. We're here today and tomorrow. So, so we're they're asking where you're at. Here he is. I'm right here. <laughs> we're ready to go. Yep, That's yep. what we like to do, my drink. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting ready to warm up and uh, let you guys see that. Yeah. You guys want to take over the camera for a little bit? Yeah, uh, I guess no oil. Yeah, you, oh. yeah. Once, once you yeah, the oil up, so cold. Uh, you're calling it Freaky Friday, man. So, uh, yeah, the new season's getting ready to get fired up. Uh, we're gonna our first race April 22nd for no prep games. Finally, it's been a long time uh, since we got any racing in. But I got a new suit, new helmet this year. This is the old helmet. Hello. Have you guys seen this one? It's badass. Fortunately, this guy uh, in Dossel that painted my helmet, he passed away. So this helmet's extra special to me right now. Um, yeah, so rocking this one, this race, or match race, or whatever. I got a new one coming out for this season. I'm excited. I'm going to debut it for you guys uh, in a couple of days. It's badass. Like, super badass. But I'll tell you who painted off-axis paint. It's awesome to be part of their family, um, but excited to show you guys, uh, yeah, my new lid for this season. But yeah, waiting for this oil to get worn up so I can get this car fired up. You got a couple fans live. Right, you want to do it live? Or? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. How you doing? Hi. You guys want to get a picture? Yeah. All right. You're on my live right okay. now. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. Let's get this thing started. 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 Let's get this Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching our videos. We are always up to our video viewers. Continue subscribing, follow, like, and comment. We are coming back with the saddest news of the drug racer Rizzi Musi, who showed it to fame on the wrong running Reddit TV franchise Street Outlaws, died at the age of 33 this Thursday after a battle with breast cancer. She received her diagnosis in April 2023, and by the time doctors discovered the illness, it had progressed to stage 4. 
news of her death was broken by her father Pat Mosi, who had himself been a drug racer before his daughter took up with the practice. Surrounded by her family in the comfort of her own home, Lizzie was called driven at 11.25 p.m. tonight, Pat wrote on Facebook. Thank you for all the prayers and support throughout her battle. At this time, the family would like to have time to process grief and make arrangements in peace. We will give you an update on soon as we have informed to share. Lizzie grew up in North Carolina in the world of racing, owning to her father's career as a driver and engineer engine builder. She ultimately entered the profession herself, becoming the first woman over to break the 200 mph barrier in 8th mile door slammer racing. In 2018, she reached new heights of fame by joining the Street Outros franchise, featuring on its Snow Break King series. Liz established a place for herself as a recurring presence in the Street Outros world, appearing on Street Outros locals only just last year. She went public with her cancer diagnosis shortly after she received the news in the April 2023, announcing that an unexpected life change had just occurred. A few days ago, I have been diagnosed with a triple negative stage 4 breast cancer that has moved to my lymph nodes to my liver, she wrote on her Instagram. She explained that she first felt the lump either in December 2022 or January 2023 in a video posted on her YouTube page. Initially, she dismissed the growth as a scar tissue because she had recently undergone two divisions to breast augmentation that didn't work out. Thank you so much for watching up this workshop. I'll be bringing you more of this story as it happened and to share more about the ongoing arrangement of a burial and if you know ceremonies as her father mentioned but for now we request you guys to be so vigilant and go ahead to make diagnosis and all the body checkup to at least get to know about your health in time and also please for all those people suffering from any sort of cancer we pray that you be strong throughout this battle as you fight to overcome the disease and to the rest of the family and friends we request you to be strong and we request the almighty god to make you strong throughout this trying period as you prepare for her funeral and the rest of the arrangements as they are going to be and to the rest of our dear viewers thank you so much for watching up this far we are so happy to have you more and more please continue subscribing follow like and comment and please tell our friend also to subscribe to this channel because we shall be bringing you the more and more of the latest news and information as it happen to come but for now we thank you so much may god bless you and be with you throughout the times good morning good afternoon good evening to you all